say that uh, three years after starting the organisation, we're going to cease uh, all operations and bring the campaign to a close, purely on the basis of what's happened today and also what's happened on recent months with extremist elements. <laughs> We can speak live now to one of those protesters on the roof, Jolly Sainsbury. Hello, we can see you there. Thank you very much for joining us. I mean, you say you want uh, Harriet Harman to read this book that uh, has been written by uh, one of your colleagues up there. Why didn't you just post it through the letterbox? Well, because they're probably just throwing them in. <laughs> um, because they're not interested, really, in, in what's best for our children in this country. And um, so we, we want to make sure that she does read it. We have democratic processes to uh, speak to politicians. Getting on their roof is not one of them. Well, I'm afraid pharmaceuticals have tried the democratic process in this country for the last 30 to 40 years, and they've not got anywhere. And what's going on behind secrecy, in secrecy in the family courts in this country is the, is the biggest abuse of human rights since the Holocaust. Just because the government doesn't necessarily agree with you, we don't all agree with everything in this country, doesn't mean that you have the right to intrude on somebody's house. Well, I think um, if you did a, a poll, and we've got something like 82 uh, to 84 percent uh, public support in this country. Hi, my name is Matt O'Connor. I'm the founder of the controversial pressure group Fathers for Justice, which I started back in 2002. Uh, we became infamous for the, being the men in tights, uh, the lycra lads of protest groups, uh, and also the marmite of protest groups. Some people love us, other people hate us. Uh, so we'd like to hear your views. A poll, and we've got something like 82 to 84 percent public support in this country. In the two years, my divorce had taken going through, formulating ideas uh, and researching, and then I researched everything from you know, Martin Luther King, Mahatma Gandhi, Steve Biko, uh, Michael Collins, um, you know, the suffragettes. Toll Puddle Martyrs, um, the Fuel Protesters, a whole range of different types of civil action. So I spent this time formulating ideas. It's about him and his core campaigners. I don't give a damn about a lot of the commentators who, who, who exercise prejudices. Frankly, if I was black, frankly if I was gay, or if I was Jewish, these prejudices, this bigotry, against farmers would not be seen, not, would not be accepted or tolerated.